What's going on, Cool Rollers? This is Poe Boy coming at you. Hey guys, we got a simple video, but it's gonna be beneficial for some of you. We got some stuff to build and a little bit of cleanup. But you can't do cleanup unless you got something to put it in. So, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a little something different uh, due to the fact that, hey, this time we ordered some uh, materials like I had mentioned before and they arrived. However, I usually buy the fiberglass like in sheets and they come folded up. However, this time we went ahead and bought a full roll. So we kind of <laughs> are stuck with a big chunk of thing that we got to put somewhere so it doesn't get ruined. We don't want it on the ground so it doesn't get dirty or wet. And uh, we're going to build a little something for that. So let's get right to that. And uh, let me go get a change of clothes. See you in a bit. Feel the air getting colder I know something's missing here I need you warm right here I need you to light a fire Can you reach me in time? Can you Gotta find me Are you gone? Gonna find me I need to know you'll be here in time I need to know you'll be here in time
and girls, so there she is. Completed project there. Went ahead and built a little stand there, so that way we uh, have easy access to our materials. We just pull from there as we measure and cut right there. That way we don't have uh, that big old roll on the ground or, you know, getting wet. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, I think we got something else to do, so I'm going to continue this tomorrow. So, see you in a little bit. guys so as you guys can see we went ahead and separated the mold from the tailgate and it came out excellent everything is looking nice now it's just a matter of fact of giving it a good wash obviously uh, I did rinse it out but uh, we do have still some of the leftover uh, PVA as well as the wax so we got to clean that off and uh, make sure we address any little imperfection uh, such as I don't know if you can see it there this area here is actually a little bit uh, ruffled and that's because those are the areas we used the duct tape on the tailgate itself and that is very normal. So what we do there is uh, we come later on and uh, fill it in a little bit. You know, we will scratch this out so that way we could get rid of the gel coat. We'll uh, even it off with a little bit of body filler and then we'll apply a thin layer again of the gel coat and sand it all down real nice. Once we do that, we go ahead and wax this whole thing up real nice and make it all nice and pretty and shiny. And uh, yeah, that's when you know that it's actually ready to make parts. Uh, before I leave, I wanted to uh, comment on uh, the fact that, yeah, Poe Boy's got one big old mess all over the place here. And uh, we're going to have to continue tidying this up. 
I went ahead and uh, got some uh, metal, uh, not metal, but wood planks there. So you can see leaning against the truck, which uh, we're gonna try to place between these rafters. That way we could accommodate stuff up there, kind of like a second floor or a shelving unit up there or something. <laughs> But yeah, that'll be uh, probably for the next video. So I'll see you inside. All right, co-rollers. So we're back inside, all cleaned up, feeling fresh and good. As you guys were able to see, uh, we put a little bit of uh, <laughs> construction and a little bit of uh, the truck work uh, in this video. Um, two days ago, we actually went ahead and uh, built that rack that you saw. Um, we made that so we could keep the roll of the fiberglass mat off of the ground and... Uh, make it a little bit more versatile for us to work with it, um, especially since usually I'm working alone or Mama Poe is there giving me a hand. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna make her lift that stuff up. So yeah, we got that thing done as you guys were able to see. And uh, then on the following day today, we actually continued into working with the tailgate. Uh, we went ahead and uh, trimmed all the excess and uh, we grinded all the edges around, make it nice and smooth, parallel to the part itself. And uh, we separated the mold. And let me tell you, that mold came out magnifico. <laughs> it came out great, it really did. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, you know, separating a couple more molds. So you guys stay tuned because that's going to be coming up in one of the nearby uh, videos. Uh, I know you guys are eager to see what's under the molds, especially for the front clip. Um, but we still got to do the bed sides and uh, also the driver's side door. Uh, but yeah, I might just take a little cut in between there and uh, separate some of the molds. And as you guys know, if you guys follow with the videos, I'll leave a little link in the description here. But uh, when we made the hood part of the mold, uh, of, of the front piece, uh, we did get some rain and we had a little bit of damage with that. So we were kind of, you know, a little bit worried to see what's going to be under that. Um, and uh, I think it's time to separate it. So that way we could, you know, take a look at it to see if we need to redo it. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. You know, we have, uh, you know, <laughs> our fingers crossed and, you know, hopefully everything came out okay. It seemed like it did, but you never know till you check it out. So, yeah, <laughs> everything is looking out pretty good. Uh, you guys are super super killing it on the on the subscriptions as well as on the instagram i really appreciate you guys you know leaving your little comments and stuff like that uh the stickers the stickers are going to be coming up soon i believe uh within the end of uh this week coming up uh we should uh have them uh here available for sale uh we're going to start with a certain few ones you know the smaller ones and uh later on the other ones will arrive uh they're just doing a little bit of uh modifications to make sure everything is nice and clean and crisp and looks real good because let me tell you when it comes to uh, uh vinyl whiz john he is a perfectionist he makes sure that the thing looks good if it doesn't look good he'll call you he'll tell you hey buddy i don't think that's gonna be uh a grade for you so how about we look at this and that so i like the way he works i like what he's doing for the channel he's also helping us out to get all these things uh accommodated for the channel so yeah, hopefully we'll have those for sale in our website. Uh, make sure you guys start checking out the website. We do have all our videos there as well. You know, they link you straight on to YouTube. Um, but we, that's where we're gonna be uh, announcing all the little uh, events that we might be going to, as well as, uh, you know, little extracurricular activities that we may have going on with the channel. So yeah, thank you once again. I love you guys and let the coal roll.